today let us look at the place value and face value let us start by taking an example let us say you are looking at this number 8342 each of the digits in this number we want to find out the place value and face value for that digit so for digit 2 the face value is just 2 the face value is always same as that particular digit so for digit 4 the face value is 4 that for digit 3 the face value is 3 and for digit 8 the face value is 8 very simple so the face value repeat is same as that particular digit while it changes for the place value so these are the places in this number this is the units place this is the tens place this is hundreds place and this is thousands place units tens hundreds and thousands and depending on where the digit is appearing the place value will change for the units place the place value here for 2 is going to be two ones or just simply two for four it is going to be four tens or it's simply going to be 40 because four tens will be four multiplied by 10 which will be same as 40 or for three it's going to be three hundreds could be also written as 300 and simply here it will be eight thousands or eight thousand remember like we give uh, trauma after the thousand right so I gave the trauma over there so uh, to repeat face value is same as that digit place value changes depending on where that digit appears now let us look at a larger number let's say the number is 2000 sorry 23847 okay so for 7 i'm again going to do face and place so the face values are going to be the same as that number so for 7 it's going to be 7 for 4 face value is 4 for 8 face value is 8 for 3 face value is 3 for 2 face value is 2 place value will change this is units tens hundreds thousands and now you have ten thousands right so this is going to be seven ones or seven four tens or forty again eight hundreds or eight hundred three thousands or 3000 and 2 10000 or 20000 so this is now the uh, play, face and place value uh, and place value just keep on multiplying by 10 as you move forward uh, face value remains the same now let's do look at one final example which is six digit number right say that the number is four lakh three thousand and five I'm deliberately adding more zeros in this example so for five The face value is 5 for the net zero 
face value is 0, attain 0, 3 is 3, 0 face value is 0, and 4 face value is 4. The places now are again units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and lats. This sixth digit is we call in Indian place value system lats. International system is a little different, that's a topic for another video. But in Indian system, this will be lats. So the place value for 5 will be 5 ones or 5 0 tens or 0 again 0 hundreds or 0 3 thousands or 3000 0 ten thousands or 0 and 4 lats or can also be written as 4 followed by 5 zeros with the commas in between ok uh, so the place value even though there were zeros in this case uh, the place value became basically 0 tens which became 0 or in this case 0 hundreds which became 0 again and so on. Sometimes you will be also asked a question to write an expanded form of a number which is nothing but expanded version of the or of the number in terms of place values. So expanded form for 4 lat 23,870 will be 4 lats plus 2 10 thousands plus 3 thousands plus 8 hundreds plus seven tens plus zero ones or it can also be written as four lats plus twenty thousand plus three thousand plus eight hundred plus seventy plus zero the first one is expanded form in words while the second one is more of a numeric expanded form. So this is one more term for you to be familiar with if it's asked. Uh, it's nothing but just expression of the number in terms of its place value. So today we learnt that face value is basically same as the digit regardless of the position it appears in place value depends on where the digit appears typically multiplied by one in units place or ones place multiplied by ten in tens place multiplied by hundred in hundreds place and so on and its funded form is nothing but expansion of the number in terms of the place value. So if you are asked the expanded form, you know what to do as well. Okay, so this was about all about face value and place value that you can expect. Uh, if you like this video uh, or if you have any request, 
for uh, future videos please hit like or add a comment also please don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you